So today we're going to draw monsters. Any kind of monster you want, but it has to be fuzzy or have some kind of texture. Remember texture is the way something feels and artists make things look like they have texture by putting lines and sometimes um, shadows and dark spots. So you are going to make the body shape any way you want. You can hold the paper vertically or horizontally and use your imagination. So remember how artists use lines and shapes to draw. You can look at an idea sheet to help you. They will be in the slideshow and have different ideas for you. But you can also just use your imagination and really create your own monster body. So I want you to make it really, really big on the page. So a good way to make sure you do that is to make a, a dot or just a little line on all four sides so it reminds you that you're going to try and make the shape as big as you can. One way to start would just be an oval or a circle and then you can change it because if you're going to give your monster legs and feet you're going to need a little room and same with arms. So just like we did before, practice your shape and then make it. Now, you see, I didn't make a perfect circle. I did that actually on purpose. So just remember yours does not have to be any kind of exact shape. It's a monster, it's a silly monster. And once you have the body, decide what kind of eyes you want. There will be an idea sheet in the slideshow too. One way to make something look really cute is to make the eyes really big. So if you want a cute, friendly monster, you can make really big eyes. And if you want to, you can make a circle inside and color that later. Now you decide, do you want um, antennas? Do you want horns? Do you want ears? You decide what you want on his head. But choose something, whether it's horns or ears. I'm going to make curly horns. And that means I'm going to draw something like a spiral. A spiral is like a circle, but when you get to the other side, you keep going in like that. So mine is going to be kind of like a spiral, just like that. And then the other way. Whatever you draw, make it so you can color inside. So that means you can't just leave one line. You have to do another one and end it up at the end of the first line, see? Now, if I want to make texture in the horns, I can just make some lines. It would look rough and bumpy. Just like when we draw the pumpkin, when we drew the pumpkin, it had lines because the pumpkin was bumpy. Now, do you want a nose or do you want no nose? That's up to you. I think I'm not going to put a nose on this one. I'm just going to put a mouth. So you can make a smile, you can make him look afraid. Um, if someone's afraid, usually their mouth might be open like that, like, oh, or help. <laughs> um, you can have their tongue showing at the bottom, and when you color it later, it will look like a tongue because you'll color it the right, um, color of a tongue or make up a color. He can have little, he or she can have little teeth. You can have a big smile. You can have lips. <laughs> and then maybe you can have some teeth. Bum, 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 bum. These are just ideas. You make it your way. So I'm trying to think of what kind of mouth I would like. And hmm. I really want it cute, so I'm going to make the mouth open and some two teeth at the top. Looks kind of like a baby to me. And I just want to make this side a little less pointy. Now think of what kind of arms. Do you want arms or just hands? I'm going to put two lines for an arm and only three fingers. Two lines, three fingers two lines for the legs and big feet. 
two lines. You make yours up any way you want to. Now for the texture. I want mine to look really fuzzy. And one way to do that is with lines all around. So that looks like a lot of fuzzy fur. Okay, I'm not gonna finish that because you might not even do it that way. You might do it, let's do it on the other side so you know I'm doing a different kind. Let's just say I made an oval monster and gave him antennas and wanted a different kind of different eyes looking one way, a nose, a big smiling mouth. <laughs> he still looks a little worried to me. Bumpy teeth and short legs with toes. <laughs> I think this one's kind of funny. Um, I'll decide on the arms later. I wanted to show you another way to make it look fuzzy and that could be just making it zigzag lines because that also could look like fur sticking out but more clumped together see you could erase some of these lines but remember how big i'm making it and that's really important for yours because the next step is coloring and making the background black so if it's nice and big it should be bigger than the whole background. In other words, it should take up the page so you don't have a little thing on the paper and have to color all around it, top and bottom. You just have to color on the sides and a little bit on the top and bottom. The next step is to say, take a dark marker or crayon. It can be blue or black or anything you want and go over your texture. So this one, I'm not going over the circle. I'm going just over the zigzag texture. That's going to be your next step. And outline, that means go over the lines with the same dark crayon. It can be black, brown, blue, anything that'll show up really well. Now let's make believe I did the whole thing, okay? Because I want to move on to the next step. Pick any colors you want. They can be with markers if you have them, crayons if you have them. Um, I'm going to make mine kind of a pink color and I'm choosing to use markers. So take your time, like we always say, short strokes, short strokes, and color it in. And then I think pink will make it look more friendly too. And then color the feet, color the hands, color the eyes. I'm just going to make the eyes dark green. You pick any color you want, anything. This is your imagination, your imag imagination monster. Fuzzy texture and using lines to show that and all the colors you would like. I'm gonna use a black crayon to color the background because I feel like it's easier. It goes, um, you can go a little further with it and not leave white spots when you color lightly with a crayon. You really cannot color lightly with a marker because it soaks into the page, okay? So you can use, again, you can use any colors you want. Take your time, outline it first with a dark color. You can use marker or crayon and have fun using your imagination. I can't wait to see what you come up with.